Okay, so I know I was supposed to release a Pokemon video today, but this Danganronpa video just, it had to be made. So I just got done watching me, the opening of the new Danganronpa 3 game. You know, the intro, and I have some things to say about it. But uh, if you don't know, well, you can go and watch the video now, or you can just kind of hear me explain about it right now. So the trailer starts off normal, like a Danganronpa, you know, like a new Danganronpa opening you'd expect. It's like, okay, whatever. All nice, smooth, flashy. Got your Danganronpa bullet there. That's nice. It's cool. Then we get to Kaede. It's like, oh, snap, Kaede, she looks cool. I like her design. Yeah, she's cool, whatever. And then a shadow appears behind her in some... Weird pink glowy eyes open up and that's creepy. It's most definitely creepy. And then we go to Kibo, it's like, okay, Kibo, you cool as well, you're cool, you're cool. Robot, everything, yeah, it's cool. And then he also has a shadow in the background, and they also have weird creepy eyes. And then I get very, very suspicious. Why do they have these shadows in the background with eyes opening like that? What what why why is that a thing? Then I notice every character has that. Why does every character have those weird shadows, those weird dark silhouettes of themselves behind them with these weird creepy eyes opening? Well, except for some characters were, you know, with the way that the animation was, they became that dark shadow and, you know, their own eyes became those weird creepy eyes. So there's clearly a lot more to these guys than what we think. It's like, okay, they're prisoners, they're in prison. They probably did some bad things. But from what I'm seeing, they did a lot. They probably did a lot more than what we think. I mean, of course, this is Danganronpa. Of course, the characters that we see did a lot more than what we think they did. But I'm thinking that these dark evil shadows in the background like represent some dark side of them that's not going to be shown to us until they're like almost killed or like after we beat them in like a panic talk action or whatever it's called even my even two of my favorite characters Angie and Himiko have those evil dark eye shadow things in the back of them the only characters you don't see that weird Shadow behind are the Monokumas. You know, that's kind of be expected. It is Monokumas. You know, they do what we expect them to do. We see that scene again at some point that we seen, I think, in the last trailer with uh, when Kaede was like strapped to some weird head machine, whatever that is. There's also another scene which caught my eye. And there was a scene of meteors falling. Why the heck were meteors falling? Maybe this isn't just a prison. This, because if you look, every time you see like the outside of the school or whatever they're in, or the prison they're in, it's like they're inside of a giant dome. Why is there a dome? And well, every time these anger rumpa things happen, it's like, oh well, we just have to save you and. Lana Kuma actually put you in the school for a reason, so you won't have to go out there and stuff. Well, that happened in one. It's kind of what happened in two. But you know, they're probably in in this dome because there's probably some type of I don't know contamination outside of the dome that they can't get to, or maybe they cause these meteors to fall. I don't know. Here's a little something. Maybe Kibo. You know, the robot guy? Maybe he was the last to be outside of the dome. And he was probably like, I don't know, injured or infected by something from the meteors. And that's why they had to make him a robot or half robot. I don't know. Will that ever confirm that he's like a full robot or like, like half robot or was human and became a robot? Then there's the very, very last scene. Well, not the very, very last scene of the opening, but... One of the last scenes of the opening where all the characters, we see all the characters standing with each other and then the screen flashes and we see every character standing next to each other and they're all in those, in their, they're all silhouettes 
with those dark with those not dark but those bright pink eyes staring into the camera staring into your soul which makes me feel like this might be a thing or a two spoiler here but this might be something like in Dang and Rumpa 2 where every where all of the students are in on something. They might all be ultimate despairs of some sort of way, like in Dang and Rumpa 2. And they might be in this prison school because they all together caused some type of big crime. Maybe that's what those meteors were. They all somehow work together and cause some type of meteors to fall or maybe those were missiles or maybe those were I don't know pieces of a plane that got destroyed that they shot something at and made it fall out of the sky I don't know I'm just saying if they all didn't individually have their own crimes they all did something together something that was big all I know is those silhouettes are giving me nightmares and I am looking at them right now so I'm just gonna get them off the screen for you know you might you guys not are not seeing this but uh you know okay so I rewind I rewind it back to the meteors and yes they do seem to be something maybe they're not meteors since I see that there's five of them maybe they're the monokumas Maybe those weird Monokuma robot things came from outer space. It was not too crazy of a thought. Remember Monica from uh, Ultra Spare Girls? Remember, she went to space in the uh, Danganronpa 3 uh, future arc. She went to freaking space. She became a. N so, what's to say she somehow, I don't know, made some. sent some Monokuma from Toa City and built a colony or something in space? And made these little guys I don't know I'm just saying random stuff out of my mouth now but it seems as though these meteors or whatever they are fell onto a city I'm gonna guess that's probably like Tokyo or something maybe I'm gonna be completely 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 wrong with this and I'm just you know making a really wild guess but there's a very short scene where we see a silhouette of a character which is probably just I don't know probably a model or just something to have there until they put the final version of it there but there's a scene where there's like a silhouette of a dead person and there's like a sign next to it that says dead and I was just guessing oh who could that be and I was just eh I probably just no one I'm just making wild guesses but that's all I want to say for now. If I had, I swear, if I had the freaking, if I had a Japanese PS4 or something, some way to get the the trial right now, I would definitely play that and upload it for you guys to see. But I do not. But trust and believe, when when the game comes over here, or when the demo comes over here, the trial version comes over here, trust and believe you guys will be seeing it here on this channel some way somehow okay and from what I saw the trial version um, it has all the characters for a single class trial but it also has Hajime and Makoto from it, it as Nagi apparently it has Hajime and Nagi why 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 are they there why is that why are they there for a trial what, what reason would they have what what the heck would the trial be about for Hajime and Nagi to be there. I mean, to be honest, you guys can just tell me if you played the trial version and knew what they were talking about. And also forget, does this... I know it doesn't connect with the games, but does this somehow connect with Danganronpa 3 the anime in some type of way? Maybe it doesn't because they're like in their little... They're doing their like hope thing, hope arc thing. Because that's another thing in itself with... At the end of Hope Arc, the world was like saved, everything was normal again, it was all hopeful and stuff and, you know, hunky-dory. So that means when the heck did three, V3 happen? When, when does that happen? Does that, hap that, does that happen sometime 
before everything got completely fixed because I because at the very end of Hope Arc when everything was all nice and dandy there was like wasn't there like a time skip before everything was like completely okay and happy and stuff because it takes time to actually bring all that hope back into the world you know even though it took nearly no time to bring everything into despair but anyways that is it for all I have to say you guys can keep on guessing what you think is going on in this series and you know if you're playing the trial version good for you have a good time hope you're having fun but I'll see you